Well, let's begin with the eggplant. This is a simple recipe. It's a recipe that, you know, for those of you that really love eggplant, you don't want to fry it. Uh, you want to have an abundant sort of amount when your family comes. This you can make in advance, and it really keeps well. So it's an eggplant, and I'll show you how to clean it. But first, let's begin with the stuffing. The stuffing has a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of onion. Of course, we begin with the onion to give it some flavor. Let that wilt a little bit. And you know, in, the, in this stuffing, I use um, uh, the chopped beef, but you could use chopped lamb. You can see how that could go well. You can even sort of take a sausage out of your casing and make a stuff uh, uh, eggplant with that. And if you don't want, just make the bread and cheese and have it uh, a vegetarian. So you know, I always tell you, I give you um, a recipe, I give you sort of a map to walk, but then, you know, you take your side trips by yourselves, wherever you want to go. Okay, so let's put the meat right in. Uh, New Orleans was a big port of entry for the Sicilian, uh, the immigrants. You know, the big ports were New York, were Baltimore, and New Orleans was one of them because it was cheaper. I guess for the boat to go and to dock in New Orleans. So that was a great entry port. And still to this day, New Orleans is vibrant uh, with uh, uh, the Italian culture and the delicious recipes they left behind. So let's this just kind of cook away. We put some peppers in there, a bit of salt. And you let this simmer until all the water from the meat sort of dissipates. So let me show you how you prepare the eggplant. So you take an eggplant, and I kind of like to leave the stem, just cut it in half. This Italian eggplants, the smaller ones are ideal because you give each one half. Uh, you want it nice and white like this inside. The seeds are, you know, everybody says, gee, uh, sometimes they're a little kind of piquant or acidic or they have a bite. Well, that's the seeds, especially if, if it's uh, an older eggplant, if it's not fresh. So this is, we have the, the inside and we'll chop that up even more. And it's simple like that, just with the knife around and you pluck it out. So here we are. And we'll make stuffing, including all of this. Let's prepare the eggplant. You, we're going to be baking them in a baking pan, just like that. So let's season it with salt and oil. So we're preparing the eggplant itself. In the, in the meantime, the pan where we're going to roast it, a little bit of oil. Okay. So you can see how this will really bake well when it's ready to serve. You just pick one up and give each one one. So this is just about ready. And this then we build upon this as the stuffing. We'll chop up the inside of the eggplants. To the pan with the meat and the peppers, you add all those little, the flesh of the inside of the eggplant, and you let that all cook together. And I can tell you that by the time it's finished, it's delicious by itself. You can even make a nice pasta dish. Add a little bit of wine. Okay. and you let just this simmer all the way down until it's really cooked. Let it cool, of course. I have one that I have prepped, and it's cool. And we'll make the stuffing. Leftover bread, you know, I just love using 
uh, anything that's kind of left over and really making it into a new dish. Leftovers are just that. They're not, you know, reheating leftovers are fine. But when you can turn them into a new dish, that's spectacular. So let me soak this well. Let this soak a little bit more milk. OK. I'll let this soak. And we'll add the other ingredients. So a little bit of chopped tomatoes. Parsley. OK, that's enough. A chopped egg. Uh, cheese. Okay. Now let's add the the bread, which has soaked in milk. Let's sort of really drain out the excess milk. Uh, and just mix it all together. Well. Okay, so this is fine. Let me let me just taste. Mm. Okay, maybe a little bit of salt. All right. And now we can stuff the eggplants. Nice and, and and full. And then if we have any extra, we'll pile it on top. So you can prepare this in advance, uh, just like that. Uh, you can bake them in advance, and then room temperature, they're delicious. Or you can stuff them like this and uh, refrigerate them, and even have them ready for the next day. Once the vegetables. Uh, uh, cook the eggplant cooks they kind of tightened up a little bit uh, but this is finished as it is you get a preheated oven uh, at 400 degrees you uh, bake it for about half an hour covered let's see like that but like this then you uncover it another 15 to 20 minutes gets nice and crispy on top and you're ready to go so I'm ready to taste for you. The eggplant is finished. Start with the eggplant, mm, the stuffed eggplant. Mm. Delicious, mellow, eggplanty. You know that kind of mouthful of eggplant, mellow eggplant, with little sort of specks of that uh, crunchy meat. Delicious.